everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to grill lemon dill tilapia. It's going to be delicious, so here's how we're going to get started. First things first, we're going to use a base of mayo on the tilapia to coat the outside of the fish. Okay, so I'm going to use probably two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons, and that's probably enough for uh, what we've got going on. I have three um, fillets of tilapia here. I'm just going to move them to the side. So I'm taking a little bunch of it's this beautiful Ontario dill I picked up at um, Harvest Barn Country Markets. Make sure you check out my review for that. Really tasty stuff. We've been using it for canning this week, etc. So use as much as or as little as you'd like. I'm using probably about a tablespoon and all. And I'm finally mincing it up. I even have one of the dill crowns in there included. So into my bowl. So I freshly cracked some black pepper and that's going in my bowl as well, as well as a dash of cayenne. And I'm going to add a little bit of lemon zest. Now when I use my lemons, I typically zest the outside first and I dry it so that I can use it on such a time as this. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of lemon zest, dried lemon zest. And I'm gonna loosen this mixture up with a little bit of fresh lemon. So I'm going to actually um, wedge up some lemons to serve alongside the fish when it's done. So I'm just going to cut wedges first, and then I'm going to use a wedge and, and um, squeeze it into the bowl. So I'm gonna use at least one quarter of the lemon. This fish won't take long because they're not huge fillets either and my grill is already preheated. Really what we're trying to do is get some nice grill marks and by the time we have grill marks on there on both sides, it'll be ready to come off that grill. So I'm just gonna whisk this all together quickly until I get a smooth consistency. So this is what I'm, I have, like a paste. And go on and grab yourself a nice basting brush because we're gonna baste this fish with it. Now I've patted the fish dry with dry paper towels and so that this will stick much easier. Using a basting brush, I'm just gonna grab some of this mixture and coat the whole outside of the tilapia. And we're gonna do both sides. Be generous with it. If you wanna add salt to it, go ahead. We just try and cut down on salt a lot here. So that's what it looks like. I have, it's all basted up. I have a little bit left that I can baste with um, when it's on the grill and we're gonna put it on there in just one second. Okay, so this is gonna go quickly because my grill is nice and hot and that's my point. I wanna do that nice and hot. So I'm gonna throw this tilapia on and I'm gonna watch it. Don't go away anywhere. Baste it quickly, do your thing, but in, don't mess with it until it actually lifts by itself off of the grates. Now this is a non-stick grate, which is great, but you may also wanna spray it or grease it up before you throw some fish on because fish can be quite delicate. Now tilapia is a fish that tends to have a little bit more strength and that's why I'm using it today. So onto the grill it goes, it should sizzle. I'm just trying to get great grill marks. I'm gonna use a nice large spatula. I can almost fit the whole piece of fish on my spatula to flip it. Now I'm gonna baste it quickly one more time. Okay, I'm gonna check it quickly. It's only been a couple minutes. Okay, it's released by itself off the grate, so I'm, that means it's ready to flip. Beautiful grill marks. If it doesn't un automatically let go right now, wait a minute or so and try it one more time. It should naturally undo its own self. Gorgeous grill marks. This won't take but just a couple minutes. It just easily removed from the grill. So now we need to be gentle with them, and I'm done with this marinade. Now it's gonna go gorgeously alongside this green salad with orange and roasted radish and goat's milk cheese. Awesome. This, um, I also made a beautiful creamy dill buttermilk dressing for it and it's just gonna go just perfectly with this fish. Now I have my, lime, my lemon wedges ready and this should be probably done. It's done. So I'm gonna take them off the grill here. Beautiful. Perfect grill marks on both sides. Look at that. And just that quickly, we're done. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's gonna go beautifully on your plate with this fantastic salad. Serve it on top of it or beside it. Huh. That's a great meal. Now I can't wait to try this for you. 
Okay, so I've plated myself up some of this really great green salad, and I'm going to put, um, just try this tilapia out for you. Such a beautiful presentation. A little bit of lemon. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, it just flakes nicely. It's perfectly done. It's still nice and juicy and perfect, but still flaky. Look at that. Oh, yes. Come on. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. It's a nice fish to do on the grill because it does somewhat retain that integrity of the fish. Although it's flaky, it held together very nicely. Mmm. That's good fish. Alongside this salad, what a healthy dinner or a lunch. So that's how you grill lemon dill tilapia. Fantastic. You can try that out. Try it using different fish if you like, but that's the basic premise that you're going to use. Using that really fast basting sauce of the mayonnaise with herbs in it, it works really well, but you can intermix different herbs as well as different um, citrus fruit or even a nice flavored vine vinegar. That would go nicely in that uh, to loosen up the mayonnaise. Really great way to do it. It gives you really beautiful grill marks, nice presentation, and it's really healthy. So that's it. Try it yourself. I know you guys can do it too. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is CookingWithKimberly.com. This show is brought to you by BAM Niagara Boxing Club. Don't hate, get in shape. Make sure you register for classes at BAMNiagara.ca. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.